just kind of slipped through our hands. And I never really said that you hurt me, no one's that I just try to understand. It was so exhausting, so I lost it, had to make it stop. Hi guys, hope you're well. So back with a review, back on the knives, and this time something a little bit different for you. Knife display, how do you guys all put your knives out at home? You know, do you want to keep them on display or do you keep them tucked away? Well, I've got something here that offers the best of both worlds. So it keeps them tucked away that they're, you know, not getting covered in dust and grime and you've got to clean them up all the time, but at the same time, You've got the ability to put your favorites out on display in your man cave and look absolutely awesome. This is from a company called Home and Hadfield. I became aware of them. I saw a, a few clips and shorts of uh, their stuff and I was super impressed. They do things for watches, knives and other trinkets as well. And if you're a guy that likes all that kind of thing, as I do, you know, I like anything to do with uh, watches, knives and and little gizmos then this is absolutely ideal so let's take a closer look i'll run some footage while i'm going over it and give you guys an idea of what this is all about so we obviously have a perspex top on here really really thick perspex top well made and it's pretty robust you know it's not going to be easily scratched or uh, damaged really really thick and this is the standard version. You can actually get this in a pro version as well, which hinges at the rear, and then this whole thing will lift up. At the moment, it's a simple removal of the top, like so, which suits me just fine. So you've got a two tier section here. So you've got your lower tier at the front with three knives, and then your higher tier at the top with the four knives at the back. And I'll see you can just choose which knives you want. I've put out uh, not necessarily all my favorites, but I wanted to put out a selection of sizes of knives on that. So you can see we've got the uh, Protec Malibu down the front. We got the uh, the famous Cancept that Border Force confiscated for a little while. We've got a couple of really large folders there from Mazarin. I mean, they're about as big as as most people would buy a folding knife in. Uh, we've got the Spyderco Shaman there, which is, a, a, again, a pretty big knife. Uh, the DPX at the back, DPX Gear Hest, which is pretty thick. So that gives you an idea of the kind of thickness that these things can accommodate. And then we've got the CRKT N16 there, which is, again, a pretty hefty, chunky knife. So this will accommodate pretty much any knife that you care to put on display in terms of folding stuff. Then we have at the front here, this drawer. We have two sections, the rear section and the front section. And again, I've put a selection of different knives in here. So we've got CRKT. We've got a few of the small ones. There's the uh, Twisted Assisted Beehive that I recently reviewed. Benchmade Immunity there. And we've got a uh, Who Knives V3. We've got a Victoria Knox Swiss P branded knife there. And that is the absolute length that you're pretty much going to accommodate in there. So if that one is a max length for these drawers, let's give it a quick measure with the vernier end to end. We're coming in at 110 centimeters there, just under 110. So if you've got any knives that have a length of 110 centimeters or less then you're going to be good to go in these drawers you do have here on the side a much longer section so as you can see we've got the uh, crkt hammond sat in there and we've got the and we've got the CJRB Pyrite that we just reviewed, which is a pretty long knife. So you can actually put longer knives in this section here, maybe even some small fixed blades if you wanted. And then we've just got some little trinkets, a few challenge coins, and a little mech army 
torch. So a nice section there that you can put pretty much anything you want in. It's quite thick down there, so even this pretty beefy CJRB that we reviewed the other day, that is okay to fit in there and the drawer will still shut just fine. As you can see, drawer is nice and smooth and the bottom is all lined with a material that stops anything getting scratched up. The only thing I would say is be a bit careful, you know, if you've got um, things that are on the knife, you know, obviously you're gonna have your uh, belt clips and stuff like that. And then you're sort of scratching them up against the sides of these you would scratch those over time. So just be a bit careful when you're taking things in and out of there. So on some of these drawers I've doubled up. You can see I've doubled up on some of the knives in there. Just check when you do that because I noticed if I doubled up, say the Who V3, which is a fairly thick knife, and I doubled that up with something else, which is reasonably thick, like the Junzi I put in the side there. It's actually a bit of a pain to get them out. So it tends to be the maybe the smaller, thinner knives that can double up in each of those. And you could, if you wanted, actually lay them on their side. So these are available in a variety of different colors. I went with the Walnut. I really like the, uh, the Walnut look on this one. Uh, but they also do a redder version in Cherry and they do a black and a gray version. I actually prefer the cherry and the walnut because you can see the sort of wood grain and I just think they look really classy. But obviously if you've got a room that's themed gray or black, then the, the colored ones might be more appealing to you guys. I think this looks absolutely awesome. Uh, my partner who doesn't actually like knives very much, um, she just thought this was really cool. She was, I, you know, I, I normally get a bit of a hard time for for buying sort of man cave type stuff. And uh, I, I'm sure I give her a hard time about buying shoes and stuff as well. But she saw this and she was uh, really, really impressed with it. She thought it looked really nice. And she said, oh, you must get the one with the watches as well. You know, you should uh, have them all laid out. You know, when we move house into a, a room that you can keep all your stuff in, this will look really cool on display. So for once, she actually liked something that I was reviewing, which is highly unusual. And I think you would struggle not to like this. It looks absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice display. So these guys at home in Hadfield, like I say, they've got a variety of different things. And I was actually pretty impressed on the pricing. For this version here, it was $155.99, which when you consider most of us are quite happy to spend that plus a whole load more on some of these knives, you know, it's well worth it considering the amount that you can get stored in here. I've almost got all my folding knives stored in here and I know that they're obviously gonna be kept out of the elements and they're uh, on a nice display that I can still swap around and, and look at some occasionally. So that's really, really handy. A good price if you ask me. If you go for the Pro version, so this is the Armoury. If you go for the Armoury Pro, which has the hinging back piece, and it also has some leather inlays underneath here. Uh, that's going to cost you 176. Uh, interestingly enough, you can actually buy the leather inlays and just put them in there yourself. I think they're vegan leather for anyone who's bothered about animal leather. They do actually make a bigger version of this, the Armada, which I think holds five across the back, four across the front, and then it has two layers of drawers on there. So if you've got a really big collection, maybe think about getting that one. The Amada is 251. I'll put a link uh, down in the description for these guys, and they do ship uh, to multiple different countries. So you know, if you're in the UK or US or wherever, you're going to be able to get hold of one of these. If you want a smaller version, you know, you've only got a handful of knives, and you're not planning on making your collection much bigger, then they do have one called the Knife Deck, and the Knife Deck is a lot smaller. It'd actually go pretty nice next to your bedside, or you know, on your bedside table or something and it's just single, so it holds four across the back. You know, get rid of this front layer here, and then it's just got less width to it, and then some drawers underneath that'll hold a few more knives under there, and maybe your watch and whatever, so you could have it as a, a thing next to your bed that you just have your sort of everyday wearables in. Really, really cool. Um, I've got a feeling I'll probably end up getting that one as well, and I may even end up getting the, uh, the Armada version as well. 
uh, and and putting them all in a room once i move and get those all in the room i'll send you guys some more video and probably do a review of the other pieces as well very very cool i'm really really impressed with this uh, i think it's well worth the money like i say i'll dump a link down below check these guys out it's not far off of black friday so it might be worth hanging around and seeing if they've got any deals coming up uh, i'm sure they will like most other companies that's at the beginning of november so like i say a couple of weeks time and you can get a look in and maybe save yourselves a bit of money there thanks a lot guys i hope you enjoyed that take care i'll speak to you all soon